Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can capture a version for a document set. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about on the whole use case. So here I have a document library and I obviously set it up with document sets. So these are all document sets, uh, folders with metadata. And inside of this uh, document set, I have a bunch of files, all right? Now, when we make changes to the file, so let me go ahead and make a few changes to one of the documents, for example. Here we go. Uh, let me just type in something, all right? Obviously, it auto saves the document. Uh, when this happens, right, and let's right click and say, you know, choose version history. Uh, we will see the version history of the document, right? Uh, this is uh, when, this is when I uploaded the document. I just you know made one change, so a ver version was automatically created for a document. This is what happens for any file. Essentially, anytime you modify it, a uh, version is created for you automatically. You pretty much have zero control over it. However, that's not the case with the document sets. If I right click and choose version history. All right, we really don't have any history on the folders on the document sets. All right, however, uh, there is a manual way to capture it. All right, and for that, all we need to do is right click, and just above version history, there is a feature called you know capture version. All right, so you have to do it manually. Uh, why you might want to do that? Uh, let's say you're modifying you know a few files, right? And let's say you know the use case is that. All these document sets, right? They represent different, uh, maybe projects, all right? And let's say you're moving from one phase of a project to another, so you want to capture the history, the content, if you will, the revisions, the different revisions of the document, and all the different documents you had at that particular point of time, all right? So let's do just that, all right? Let's say we're moving from one phase to another, uh, and we want to capture that milestone, so right click capture version and this is where you can actually specify you know uh, the the reason for this uh, for creating this revision so maybe uh, moving to planning phase all right we're moving to another phase of the project we want to capture uh, the state of affairs I guess at that particular time so click OK and look what happened it actually captured the you know, the document set the way it was at, at that particular time. So whatever files, and remember I modified one of the files, so it actually captures the version of a document at that particular time. All right, uh, let me now show you, uh, let's make a few uh, more changes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete a bunch of documents, delete a bunch of documents just like that. All right, so that's one change I'm going to make. And I'm also going to, uh, maybe, you know, make another change to this document. All right, let's make another change to this document. All right, and see what happens uh, in this case. So again, it's auto-created for you at the file level. All right, uh, so just to prove, you know, uh, to show you what we have, we have, we should have three versions of the document. Let's now see what happens at the document set level. So right-click, version history. Okay, now, uh, it still shows me, remember, I made a change. Right now, this document is version 3.0, but it still shows you that at that particular point, we had 2.0 version of this document. So it pretty much tells you what happened uh, at that particular you know, stage. And if I click here, it will actually tell me this document has three versions right now, but at that point of time, you know, when we captured the version history of a document set, we only you know, had two versions, all right? Uh, let me show you something else. So if I go and say uh, version history again, uh, and look at this, those documents I deleted, all right, essentially they're gone. You know, they're gone um, because obviously uh, I deleted them. Um, so it doesn't show them here uh, because obviously the documents, uh, you know, have been deleted, uh, all right? So very, very important to note, even though at that particular point they existed, uh, because I deleted them, uh, that they can no longer be found, uh, you know, in this, uh, uh, you know, uh, in this uh, uh, version of the document set. All right. Let's go ahead and um, uh, capture another version. All right. So again, I'm, you know, going to create another version. Maybe moving to uh, execution phase. All right. Here we go. 
Perfect. And click OK. Let's see what happens now. So uh, we just captured the, and look at this. It again captures the state of affairs. So we now have a smaller set of documents. Um, and, um, you know, obviously version three of this document, right? And if we expand this right here, uh, once again, uh, it's going to show us the state of affairs at that particular uh, point of time. Uh, once again, uh, it's not going to show the documents that have been deleted. It's not really the behavior I would expect, right? I, in theory, I should see those documents because they did exist, but uh, this is how it works. So just something to be aware of, all right? Uh, but the beauty uh, about this uh, mechanism, the beauty about this version history and the document set is that uh, you can at least capture the state of affairs at that particular point of time. Uh, because remember, it's not just the files that you can, you know, change, um, right, uh, or metadata on the files. You can also change the metadata uh, on the document uh, set as well. So you might want to capture uh, not just the state of affairs um, when it comes to uh, the files uh, within the document set, but, but also what the metadata was at that point of time. Uh, again, just remember, uh, with files, this is something that happens automatically. Anytime you change metadata, anytime you modify the file, uh, the version is created for you automatically. Here, you have to remember to right-click and capture it uh, after you make the change, right? Um, so hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, I really like this uh, feature, I really like this trick, and uh, hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.